this is the Provoke Brawn, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an AM5 motherboard with a Ryzen 7 CPU. So this is an AMD Ryzen 7 7700X processor, and I'm going to show you the process for installing it in the motherboard and a few other things to bear in mind. Now, they've changed the socket layout for the AM5, which means it now has pins on the motherboard. So there are some things to bear in mind, but the process for installation is pretty straightforward as long as you're careful, because you need to be very careful not to bend those pins. So the first thing to do is to remove this little latch and lift up the cover. You'll notice there's a plastic cap on top. Don't remove that just yet. Leave it in place because it does protect the motherboard when you're not installing a CPU. Next, obviously, is to take the processor out and have a look at it. Now, be careful to grab it by the corners and not touch the underside, but you will notice a few things. Firstly, there's some notches on the top and bottom, and in the top left, there's a little gold triangle. This is actually an indicator of the direction that you install with the CPU. On the underside, you'll see it's there as well, but you'll also notice a lot of gold points so the CPU contacts with the pins. Don't touch those, but be very careful during this next step where we're going to insert the CPU into the motherboard. Now you'll see the golden triangle in the top left corner here as well on the socket and gives a demonstration of where to install it. So basically place it very gently at that sort of angle. Then we just replace the top cap, push the lever down and you'll see that plastic cap then pops off. So that protective housing is now gone. And from another angle, you can see that process again. So very gently, just lowering it in very, very, very carefully. Do not drop it in there. Do not force it in there. Do not try and force it in the wrong direction. Make sure you've lined it up properly before you do all this. Now, another quick tip is I want to show you the change to the socket layout. So this is a Corsair H170i Elite Capilux cooler. And this is a slightly different setup with the way it installs. So as standard, you'll notice there are some brackets on the top and bottom of the motherboard and a backplate installed on this layout as well. So this AM5 setup has this backplate with some standoffs essentially mounted at the rear, which you'll screw some parts into so it'll hold it in place. But what you need to do is to remove the clips. Now this will vary from cooler to cooler, but the installation is fairly similar. However, it is quite different from a previous variant. We used to have to hook things over the standard installed plastic housings. So what we need to do for this cooler installation, for example, is to remove these two brackets. So unscrew those and take them off. Now, as I said, this may vary, but I think it's worth showing because it shows the difference between this and the previous variants. So take those brackets off and then use the included standoff screws that came with the Corsair cooler in this example. And those just screw into the back plate that's on the back of the motherboard. And then it's ready to take the cooler. Obviously, then in this case, we also need to remove the brackets from the pump head and install the AM5 ones. Now, things of note here is that it says AM4 in the bag where the parts come in. But actually, it works with AM5 as well. But it's a different setup because there's no sort of hooks to hold it in place. Now we've got a bracket that sits over those standoffs. So you pop this down onto there. Obviously, the thermal paste is pre-applied on the pump head, sit that down over the standoffs and then screw it down. Obviously, you'd actually do this when it's in the case and ready to go but I wanted to show you some close-up shots of this and how it would work. So hopefully this has been an interesting insight into the AM5 setup logic and the things to watch out for. Thanks very much for watching.